This video is going to show how to make a neighborhood search page on IDX Broker Platinum. First thing you need to do is uh, create a page of listings. And uh, you do that under Preferences and Saved Links. Uh, manage if you want to go to ones you've already created and create a new one. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to use the advanced search. That gives us the ability to search uh, communities and um, developments, areas, uh, however they classify it. Um, we're going to do a residential search. We want to put all of the listings, different property types on there. This particular client is uh, working in Henderson. And for this page, we're going to go ahead and look for the community of Anthem. Um, we're going to create a page full of listings, so I want to show all listings, so I just kind of put zero to a really big number. And uh, results per page, I like uh, a lot, but whatever. And uh, newest listings, um, this way the, the newest ones show up on top. So depending on the MLS, they're going to show you uh, all kinds of different ways of kind of putting the... Uh, so we see here at this MLS we have community name. So we'll uh, search for Anthem and there it is. So good. Select that and next step. So now we're going to actually create a page of all listings in Anthem, in the Anthem community of uh, Henderson. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this uh, Anthem Neighborhood uh, Henderson. Nevada. And uh, you can put in some meta tag also, which uh, I don't have that handy. But okay, so now here's the part where we're going to kind of customize a little bit. This is the subheader. So this is going to show up above the listings on that page. So I'm going to put a little uh, write up and, um, and a picture. So I come here. Um, I already have the text and uh, pop it in there and I kind of borrowed some of this text some of the quotes from uh, or not some of the quotes but some of the uh, verbiage from this site here um, this is actually the neighborhood site so they shouldn't mind me giving them attribution to a little bit of text um, Wikipedia is real good I would never take anything from another agent site or I never take any content without giving credit either. Um, that's called stealing. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got a little write-up, got a little um, little attribution there. Let's go ahead and drop an image in. In order to do that, though, it has to be stored somewhere. So I'm going to come back to the agent's WordPress site, and I'm going to add new media, and they have uh, pictures here. That we can use and uh, I'm going to blow that picture now I'm going to grab the URL and we'll bring it back to IDX broker I'm going to insert image image URL goes here description is Anthem Nevada and appearance um, I want to go ahead and align it right I want the dimension to be 400 wide. That's just uh, me. You could change that to whatever. I put a little horizontal space. I like about 20 pixels of space and a 5 pixel border. And uh, I don't want any margin on the right, just on the left. And instead of a black border, I want it to be a nice gray color. So I'm going to insert that. And there you go. I'm also going to go ahead and bold the word anthem there. Okay. So that is that. So I'm going to go ahead and save and manage my links. And then the uh, page will look something like this. I'm going to style it up a little bit more. And if you, um, my site's doing too much, so I can't. Uh, <laughs> it's not loading. But anyway, you scroll down, you see all the listings for uh, Sun City Anthem. And uh, you got yourself a neighborhood page. Uh, FYI, I'm also going to go ahead and put a um, H1 tag at the top of that uh, content. 